Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, we are joined by Loire Kotler, who is a rhythm vocalist, and she has a very special way of singing, which you'll get to hear very soon. Welcome, Loire Kotler, to the World Fusion Show. Thank you, Derek. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I'm so glad you could join us today. And I just wanted to start by giving our audience a little taste of what you do with your uh, as, as a rhythm vocalist and what that means, because it's not the normal way of singing, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, you know, it's 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 not the normal way, but it's also a very old, old tradition. Um, it, but the, nor the not normal part <laughs> is, that, is that I'm putting together so many different um, styles and, and genres and, and, um, and getting into it in that way. So did you want me to demo? Is that what you were asking? Please do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, so this is the drum language from South India. And, um, and it sounds a little like this. I'll do a quick demo. So there's always a clapping pattern to indicate the time cycle so that there's this relationship between the breath and the pulse. And that's sort of what um, is the life art and the life uh, work of it. So, so something like this. So it's just an eight-beat cycle. So it's yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I'm just waking up, so I don't know. <laughs> hey, uh, it sounds pretty cool to me. And I'm sure our audience's mind are already blown by that. So let's let's get into it now. A little bit about your background. What was it like in your family growing up with music? What was your first exposure and what got you into music to start with? Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful question. Um, music was always on in, in my house. Um, so there was definitely a wide ranging exposure to all kinds of music. Um, but, you know, there was always also a piano in my house. I was very, very lucky to be um, cl in close proximity to an instrument. And um, nobody in my family played, but um, my great uncle uh, was a great pianist, although he never pursued that, um, that route. And so um, I think that very early on, my first music teacher in the Suzuki method recognized that I had uh, a natural uh, born uh, ear for, for, um, for, uh, sounds to be able to reproduce what I was hearing. And, and so, you know, um, wow, it's such a big question. I, I I'll take up the whole show with it. Um, <laughs> no, please <laughs> but, don't. <laughs> but I, I think that that's no, I know, but I think that, that, you know, the, the real core of it is that I was born this way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, had no, I don't think that I think I just didn't really have a choice, and I. But the main thing is that how lucky I was to have parents who believed that this was um, just, you know, an important, just as important of a of a path as, say, being a doctor. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so you went to NYU. You got a degree in music therapy, also, right? So did, yeah. do you use that still? I do mm -hmm. everything that I do, not just not just my teaching, but I use that that understanding and that deep conviction that music is healing and music is therapy. Music can also be uh, therapeutic, just as much as it is in its very core um, a healing force. And so, whether I'm teaching or also approaching a project, whether it's a composer's music um, or my own music, there's always that streaming forth. Yes, I would love to go to our first video. And in this one, you are singing your wonderful style, rhythmic style, with a kalimba. 
in the background. Oh, yeah. um, let's go right to the video and, and okay. check this out. All right, we are back with Loire Cutler. Now, I think that's a great introduction to the Loire Cutler experience. <laughs> I think people will really dig that. I play kalimba a lot, and I play it a lot on the show, and it's just sort of nice to hear you work with a kalimba as well. Mm. Yeah, it's great. Now, you made uh, tr maybe more than one trip to India, um, and you've studied, obviously, as you said, this Indian style of vocal percussion. Tell us about your travels to India. Um, well, you would you would think that I uh, traveled there a lot more than I have. Um, the uh, the most recent and and only visit okay. that I had made to India um, was a couple of years ago, actually. Um, and I had the great uh, the great fortune, the great honor to um, be invited by Chitravina Ravi Kiran. Absolutely mind blowing mind-blowing artist in every single way and human being. Um, he developed a system called Mel Harmony, uh, which again, that could be a whole other show. <laughs> and, um, and he invited um, me to perform at the Academy in Chennai. And um, which I would say that that would be considered like the Juilliard of, <laughs> of, <laughs> of the Carnatic world. Right. And um, I'm not normally nervous about performing because, again, this is all about, you know, the gift of sharing and connecting. But I was a little nervous <laughs> about <laughs> performing Konakal yes. there. Um, and it was absolutely, uh, it was just, it was thrilling, really, and, and beautiful. And, um, and just to be there and, and connect you know, using this tradition in this sort of, as this modern um, woman, uh, um, you know, anyway. So, yeah. but, yep. So I'd love to go to our second video. And this one, we're going to take a little stylistic turn. This is a piece called Lamento. And you're singing in a more normal, let's say, uh, singing style. Um, so, Tell us a little bit about this. We're going to see. Yeah. Um, well, the thing about this is, uh, first of all, it's from uh, an, uh, an opera, which um, is by uh, Jacob TV, a Dutch composer who is just, you know, groundbreaking in so many ways. And I've had um, many performances with Jacob. And in this 
uh, video that you're you're speaking of, this really taps more into um, a kind of call to prayer. Mm. Um, this was the only scene in the opera that had no digital um, multimedia installation. And so you if you can just imagine the context of being part of something that's a multimedia opera, and then all of a sudden, this moment ha happens. And, um, and I would say that this was um, a very personal, um, very, imp um, well, I'll let you, I won't speak too much about what I'm singing, but um, in, in a lot of ways, you know, drawing from my, my background of the John Coltrane sort of call to prayer, um, improvisatory spirit, more subtle dimensions that we exist in, um, but tapping into the the pulse of of a, of a lot of pain and suffering that's going on in our world. Yeah, let's go to the video and watch this. And I Right, we're back. That's just beautiful. I love that. So yeah. I wanted to ask you just to share with us a little bit about your vision and philosophy and what you're trying to bring to the world through your voice and your music. Um, you know, very early on, I something in me understood that there's this other, other, um, other world of sound that we're experiencing, but we're not necessarily processing through our thoughts or through our conscious thoughts. And, um, you know, just even, even just vibrationally, um, I could always feel, I was just a sensitive soul, I guess you could say, and always felt that there was this other story going on um, from what we might've been told um, or might have been thinking through thoughts or words. And um, I believe that that, that other, other um, subtle plane led me to this sort of wordless experience and this sound experience that is um, beyond, the, beyond the words. And so, but, the, but more than that, 
is that the, the rhythm and the pulse of all of that. Um, and so while that is going on, there is also this connection uh, to play with the rhythms and, and that I was um, experiencing um, just naturally in the world. And so, of course, I, you know, you go through all the training of, of music, but, but this, this foundation never left. Um, this never, this never, you know, and it not only never, never left, it never gets old. <laughs> it never gets boring. <laughs> it's, it's always new and it's always magical and it's expansive and there's just infinite possibility of what can happen between a downbeat and an upbeat. And so that's the space that I, I, I explore. And, and that space is really about us. So, you know, it's not really even about me, um, or my philosophy. It's about our, uh, all of us. Um, it's about being with being together and sharing the space. That's great. Thank you. That's lovely. Um, so I'd love to go to our next two video clips. Okay. Um, and uh, this one is, the first one is something you call Warp Speed. And the second is a film thing that you did with Hans Zimmer. Do you want to say just briefly about that? Um, well, the warp, I think what you're, the warp speed, I, you know, some of these videos um, were just posted and they came my way. And um, so I believe that one, that's the one um, from Symphony Space in New York City, where I was born. Well, I wasn't born in Symphony Space, but, I, <laughs> but <laughs> that would be something. I was born just up the street, uh, actually down the street and east um, in New York Hospital. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's always been wonderful to you know to make music um yeah. in my home, in my hometown um so but that that's from a performance i did with glenn velez um in i don't remember the year maybe maybe 10 years ago or so um and but it was um uh an example a beautiful example of how the kona call or the drum language shifts for me depending on the instrument um a lot of people that are more traditional with that style will will notice that my articulation might just sound a little bit different um, than the traditional. And um, you know, Glenn always makes a joke. It's because I'm from New York, <laughs> and it's just my it's my Long Island Jewish accent. Right. But <laughs> which, of course, could be true. I always try to bring that into everything. But really. The drums that I was learning how to do this very specific style um, on were the um, the drum that you're going to hear now, which is the rick. It's the Arabic or the Mideast tambourine. And you'll notice that the articulation, especially Glenn, you know, I mean, there's nobody that plays like Glenn, um, his articulation, but also this, the articulation of this instrument uh, it has such a crisp sound. It's so front. It's so much in the front. So I, I, you know, immerse myself into that sound. And then what happens is the technical aspect of doing these syllables, not only do I spend so much time just on every single syllable, every single shape, um, I push forward to get a more crisp sound and to, to kind of gel with that instrument so that it's really locked in and tight and, and, and that has that sound. So I think that, that this is a pretty good example of that one. Yeah. Now I should mention you're married to Glenn Velez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and who's also, I'm a huge fan of Glenn, and Glenn has been on the show as well. So, but also you've really been very... Uh, well, the, your work with Hans Zimmer has been very inspiring to you. Do you want to say something about that? Uh, I mean, um, how much time do we have? Not because, much. Okay, because, <laughs> um, you know, Hans Zimmer, uh, um, it's been a life-changing experience for me because in addition to all the other aspects of music that I've been doing. It's always been a dream of mine to, um, well, not only work with Hans Zimmer, but also to, um, to be doing music for film. But I never really did any outreach to do that because that's just not how I've done. My career never 
unfolded because of outreach. It just unfolded because I was, you know, following my bliss and, and, you know, and I'm actually pretty, you know, introverted in, in a lot of ways, introvert, extrovert. Um, <laughs> and Hans is um, beyond being a compo the most unbelievable film composer. He's um, a, a, a very uh, beautiful human being, but also, um, one of the highest uh, artists, artists I ever, ever got to work with. And so I've expanded um, as an artist and as a human because of this work. And um, so I'm so forever grateful for that. That's great. Let's go to the videos now. <laughs> very cool i like that so um i'm so sorry but we're running short on time but i wanted to you to talk about just a little bit about your new ct 18 wings um 18 wings is a uh, another you know uh lifelong dream i guess um but maybe not lifelong although it feels like it's taken a lifetime um to number one um to perform music that I, um, that is very near and dear to my heart. Um, but with Glenn and Howard Levy and Eugene Friesen. So Trio Globo, their trio, um, is, are, I, I've been so inspired by them for so long and I have learned so much from those artists. Um, but the, the record, the most important thing that I want to share is that it's a tribute to my father who died 30 years ago. And so the release of it being now is not a coincidence. The fact that it, I released it during the pandemic that we're in now, um, uh, you know, it just felt like it was absolutely the right time um, to, uh, to, to put, put it out there. Um, I feel that this music is, is just purifying and, um, and, you know, I hope that it has that effect. Um, but, but yeah, so that's, that's great. Thanks. So Loire Cutler, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. It's been great to have you share your unique vocal style with our audience. 
Thank you, Derek. Thank you so much for having me and for, you know, inviting me and, and for welcoming me into your world. <laughs> that's great. Well, thank you for being so Our generous. world. Our world. That's right. Our world. And we're going to actually feature one of the songs from your CD coming up next. But thanks again for being here. You're welcome. Okay. Hey, all right. This is Derek Jordan. Thank you so much for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. It's been just great, great to have you. And I want to send out a big thank you to our sponsors, to uh, Mackenzie Family Charitable Trust, Dean's Beans, Chris Pratt, Nancy Feinberg, Ron Dans, and Jeff Green. Thank you so much for your generous support. Thank you so much for joining us. Share this episode with your friends. Subscribe on our YouTube channel and all that good stuff. And remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music. No one here loves me or understands me. What hard luck stories they all hand me. Do ta ki ta do ta ka ti mi do ma. Kita, 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 kita,